I'm going to start out with this guy, George Peterson. I don't know if you're familiar with him or not. Uh, he's very popular online. Uh, he's becoming a very uh, predominant figure in the media nowadays. And he pretty much deserves to be in a lot of ways. I, I think he's interesting. I like to listen to him. Now, not everything he says is right on the money because he's the kind of guy who likes to ruminate out loud and as he's processing a thought, he says it. So some of the stuff he says is goofy, uh, but a lot of what he says is profound. The reason is profound. It's not anything really earth shattering or any new information. It's just the fact that since he is a college uh, psychology professor, when you bring just good old fashioned common sense to the table, they're shocked because they live in a world where common sense is an uncommon virtue. Um, he's especially, he's anti-PC culture because it strangles free thought. He's anti-Marxist, which makes him absolutely an anathema on campus. And here's the real kicker, where he doesn't fit in on college campus. He's very pro-Christian. Now notice I said he's pro-Christian, not necessarily that he is a Christian. He kind of dances around that question quite a bit. And it's important for those, because he's very popular within the Christian community as well. And we have to remember there's definitely a distinction between the two. And don't totally follow him down his way, because even though he's a fan of Christianity, he still thinks kind of like the world. He's not, he's not indwelled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, I'll give you an example. He won't confess that the Bible is true meaning that it contains historical fact. Instead, he says it is the greatest repository of truth that man has ever seen. Uh, he's somewhat right he, in that it is a perfect description of human nature. Like if you're a psychologist and that's how he sees the world through a psychological lens, there has never been a better book of psychology of how the human mind works than the Bible. Um, basically, the Bible is God's revelation of us about who God is. And it's also God's revelation to us of who we are, ourselves. Um, he thinks the authors were geniuses, whereas I would just say, no, they're common men who were inspired by the Creator. The designer knows how he designed us, and that's why everything we read here is so accurate. Peterson would do a great job, in fact, I've seen him do it, teaching a lesson we learned when we last met here about how we need to come like little children. And he explains psychologically what that means. But even though he can describe it better than most preachers, he doesn't come like a child himself to the foot of the cross. He remains a scholar who's pretty accurately commenting on the scripture instead of a child who's being led by the word. Now why do I bring him up? The reason I bring him up today, like his 12 rules for life, uh, today we're going to get some really good, insightful, practical application stuff from the Bible. It's not just going to be about the gospel today. This is going to be how we should interact with our fellow man, how things will be much smoother. So we're going to get to kind of get that advice you get in books like this. Now what I want you to realize, part of what converted me, is how much more accurate the scripture is. So as we're reading this, and you realize that, wow, that's pretty good advice. That's not how the world acts. That's not how we naturally think. But that is definitely right. Then you kind of get that revelation to yourself that if we can trust him on these practical things, then when it comes to those metaphysical things that we need to accept on faith, we can be comfortable that we can.